Hello guys, Colonel Ninny here. Alright, so you've bought the game and you've learned how to fly the aircraft to some level of competence. You've done some multiplayer flying and now you think you'd like to join Tactical Air War. So Tactical Air War, or otherwise known as a TAR, is a complex, dynamic campaign. There are eight different maps which span the entire length of the conflict, so you get different kinds of aircraft and different levels of equipment in the different periods. As a pilot, you only get three lives in each mission map. You also have a limited number of aircraft, so if you crash them or get shot down, you may not have an aircraft to fly until the next map. But you can earn aircraft by flying transport missions which are non-combat. There are severe penalties for dying or being captured, and you may end up being banned for 20 hours until your dead pilot's been buried and you have a new one. So players tend to take it very seriously indeed. There's an extremely high level of skill, and this is the arena where the best players in the game come. But don't let that deter you provided you have a basic level of competence and are able to communicate and listen, experienced players will always be happy to have you come along and participate in their missions. This is an awesome way to learn how to fly, how to play the game, and how to get really good at it. So why don't we start by going to your browser and typing in the IL-2 website. The pilot's name on the IL-2 website must be identical to the pilot's name on the TOR website. So we register and we log in and that is what puts our name up on the screen on the IL-2 game. Now we go to the TOR website. And the reason you do this is to register your pilot on the side on which you're going to fly. Here you choose whether you want to fly for the Allies or for the Axis forces. In this round I'm registering to play for the Allies and I'm going to tick all three, fighters, attackers and bombers. Choose all three because if you lose an aircraft you may not be able to fly in that category that you want. After our pilot is registered we go to the actual TAR website. It's a good idea to bookmark the site because you will be referring to it several times through the game. Read the rules and read the updates because they make a difference on how the game is played. There's a usual assortment of uh, statistical tabs, but go to the Login tab. Log in the pilot's name and password that you just put on the previous website. And you'll see that he shows up in my case flying for red and this is his statistical data. These are the limited number of aircraft that are available to him at the beginning of the mission. TAR has a very unique system to record the sorties. Each one shows its own damage model in a great deal of detail. If we want to look at the statistics, we can see all the pilots. And if we want to look up a particular pilot, we can see his record. Click on that, and there it is. And this name is the name that will appear as you open up your IL-2 game. And you can only fly with one pilot, and that's the one that's listed here. If we look at CDAT, we'll see that he has two entries. He has two pilots registered, one playing for Axis and the other playing for Allies. You'll note that the pilot names are different, so if he wants to change factions, he's going to have to go back to the website to change it. This means you'll start off at zero again on the opposite team. Be sure to read and understand the rules in the manual. And scrolling down to the bottom of those rules gives you the change log, which gives you all the changes to those rules since its inception. Understanding all the rules will help you to play the game better and it'll take away a lot of the frustration. For example, why do I have a 10 hour time penalty before I can play again? Why am I being kicked from an aircraft as I'm starting up? 
Why didn't I get credit for that transport mission? Why is my landing at the airfield considered as ditched and not landed? So that takes care of all the admin. Now we just need to get TeamSpeak up and running. Open TeamSpeak on the Tactical Air War server. Copy the address, the server address. Open the website for TeamSpeak 3. Download it. Put a shortcut on your desktop. Connect. Enter the server name that you just copied. Connect. Be patient. Connected. Now left click and hold and drag it down to the channel I want. Channel switched. And now I can speak. Hey, Nini. Well, that pretty much covers it, guys. So we'll learn the rules, find partners, communicate, and we'll see you up there. See you next time. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, found it helpful, please like it or subscribe. Or if there's another topic you'd like me to cover, please leave a comment. Thank you, guys.